This works on literally any website a victim visits. So let's go to Instagram.com, hit enter. And as you can see, we were able to capture that the victim has requested Instagram.com as well as other domains that are associated with Instagram.com. And it doesn't matter if it's running on HTTP or HTTPS, we are still able to sniff it. Now this is very very scary because attackers are able to see every single website you are visiting and possibly customize a social engineering attack based on the websites that you are visiting. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how dangerous it is to connect to a random open Wi-Fi network or even letting in someone that connects to your own network because once you are on the same network, Hackers will be able to see every website you are browsing. In other words, they will be able to see your browser history. And not only that, they can also redirect any web traffic into their own hosted website. It could be malicious. I'll be explaining this type of attack on my own devices. So please keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only. Before we move on to the video, your support means a lot to me. So please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Let's dive into the video. So here I have my Kali Linux running. First, let's open a terminal window and in here, let's download and install BetterCap by doing sudo apt install BetterCap. And this command will install BetterCap for us. I suggest doing apt update before you're doing any installation of any software. I assume you already did that. So I'm gonna hit enter, put in my sudo password. And since I already have it installed, as you can see, there's nothing upgraded or newly installed. And once you have BetterCap installed, we can simply run it from the terminal by doing sudo BetterCap which is the name of the tool and we're doing sudo since BetterCap needs elevated permissions. So I'll hit enter and perfect. Now the tool is running. And by the way, we can see all of the modules that BetterCap has to offer by doing help in here. I'll hit enter. And this will show us all of the available modules and options that we can use as well as what is currently running and what is not. So if I scroll up a bit, we can see that events.stream is now running. And in my case, in this video, I'll be using a couple of the modules. For example, I'll be using net.prop, net.sniff, dns.spoof, and arp.spoof. So let's start by doing net.prop on and this will turn on this module. Next, I will do net.show. This will show us the available devices in a table. And if I zoom out a bit, we will be able to see a nice table layout in here. And this again will show us all of the available devices. So in this network, in this case, we have one Apple device connected and this is its IP address. LAN0 is our Kali Linux machine in here, and this is my IP address, and this is the gateway IP address. We can also see how many packets are received and sent, and when was the last time this device was seen. In my case, I want to target this MacBook device, my host machine actually, which is this machine. So to tell BetterCap that we want to target this exact device, we can do set arp.spoof dot targets and give it the IP address of the target that we want to spoof. This case is 10.0.0.3. Put a comma and then give it the IP address of the gateway. In this case is 10.0.0.1. Hit enter. Next, we need to turn on the IRP spoof module. So I'm going to do arp.spoof on. As simple as that. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see now, it's uh, running and it's enabling forwarding. So that's good. So this arp.spoof module will make our Kali Linux machine act as the router. This way, we will be able to sniff the data that any device trying to access. Think of it as the man in the middle who listens to both sides. Now, the last module I want to run in this case is net.sniff. This will allow us to see all of the network traffic that goes to and from the target. I'm going to turn it on, hit enter. Let's go to the target machine and I will just go to random websites. So let's go to google.com for example. 
and there you go google.com has been logged in as a visited website as you can see and not only that but we are also able to see other domains that google.com is requesting for this example it's googleipis.com gstatic.com adservice.google.com and so on and this works on literally any website a victim visits so let's go to instagram.com hit enter and as you can see, we were able to capture that the victim has requested Instagram.com as well as other domains that are associated with Instagram.com. And it doesn't matter if it's running on HTTP or HTTPS, we are still able to sniff it. Now this is very very scary because attackers are able to see every single website you are visiting and possibly customize a social engineering attack based on the websites that you are visiting so we are also able to see every traffic that is coming from this device or this target as well regardless if they visit a website themselves or they have an application running in the background that is communicating with the internet we will be able to see that traffic and sniff it as well next i want to show you how attackers are able to redirect any website a target is requesting to a malicious one again this works on any website so let's go to twitter.com for example and as you can see it's showing us every website that twitter.com is requesting so you get the idea i don't want to bore you with this let's move on next i want to show you how attackers are able to redirect any website a target is requesting to a malicious one without the target even noticing i'll put kali in full screen once again and first let me turn off the network sniffer just to make the screen look cleaner since we don't need the sniffer anymore and we can do that by doing net.sniff off this will turn off the sniffer i'll do clear to clear the screen and in here let's do help again to see the available modules and the module we want to use this time is called dns.spoof and as you can see it's not running currently and again this module will allow the attacker to redirect any website the victim is requesting to a different one in this example i will redirect the victim to my own website running on kali linux i am not sure if you already know this but we can easily spin up a website hosted on our kali linux machine locally using apache let me show you how to do that real quick so let's open a new terminal window and all we have to do here is to turn on the apache server service so let's do sudo service apache2 start and this will tell apache2 service to start i'm gonna hit enter and that's it if you don't see any errors that means the website is running successfully and by default the website is hosted on our own ip address in my case if i do if config we can see that my ip address for lan0 is 10.0.0.2 and in your case the default IP address might be on the ETH0 adapter in here somewhere in here so again in my case this is my IP address I will copy it once again and if I navigate to this address on the browser so I'll paste it in here hit enter and this is the fake or customized website that I have created in here so all of this everything you see here this website is hosted on my local Kali Linux machine that is running on Apache server now if you haven't modified your default index.html page you would see something like this the Apache 2 Debian default page instead and you can modify the Apache 2 default page by going to this location and modifying the index.html file so let's go back to better cap let me close this as well and in here i will do set dns dot spoof dot domains and the domain i want to spoof is mercedes.com or mercedes however you pronounce it this command will tell better cap to initiate a dns spoofing attack and if the victim visits for example mercedes.com it would redirect them to our local website that we have running on kali linux which is this website right here let's hit enter now let's turn on the module by doing dns.spoof on hit enter now again if the victim visits mercedes.com they will be redirected to my local kali linux ip address which is hosting a fake website as you have seen now let's go to the victim machine and try to go to mercedes.com 
So here we have the victim browser. Let's just go to mercedes.com, hit enter. And as you can see, I got automatically redirected to the fake website that I have running on my Kali Linux machine. So as a victim, this would look normal to me because the URL is correct, it's mercedes.com and everything looks okay in here. But in this case, I'm just trolling, so I created this fake website, but hackers can actually duplicate mercedes.com login page and insert it in here instead. That's why this can be extremely dangerous because for example, hackers are able to create fake social media login pages that look very similar to the original ones and many victims would fall into this trap and provide the attackers with valuable information without the victim even noticing. Now to secure yourself from these types of attack, you can always use a well-known VPN service. By using a reputable VPN service, it will encrypt all of your traffic inside and outside the network. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video.